Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue's Base Level Soulsborne Challenge here in Dark Souls 1. And, well, <laughs> wow, it had been so long since not only I recorded this series, but also since I apparently played Dark Souls 1. You were all telling me that this centipede demon was always chilling out there. Whoops. My bad. I really hope I didn't point that out in my Everything Possible series only to forget it filming this Soul Level 1 series, but that is entirely possible. But today, we are going to be pushing past the Demon Fire Sage Arena killing hopefully the centipede demon and then running through the little bit of lost isola to get to the bed of chaos and hopefully collecting our very first lord's soul but before i do that let's look at the gear we'll be using today i have the hand axe upgraded to plus 10 and i'm going to tell you why it's only upgraded to plus 10 i am lazy i don't feel like going back and farming for titanite chunks of which i have four left in order to upgrade this so my apologies we're going to see how much of a wet noodle this hand axe plus 10 is I do have my Magic Heavy Crossbow upgraded to plus 5 again. The Sorcerer's Catalyst, I'm going to show you the spell that I have equipped, or spells really, but it's going to uh, be just a moment. Let's go through the rest of this. I have the Gold Helm set that we picked up right outside of Ceaseless Discharge, which apparently the strat that I used is... Well, none of you are sure if it actually works, so if you want to do some testing and let me know if that can be repeated, that would be fantastic. Just let me know in the comments below. I have my Estus Flask, Divine Blessing, just in case I run out of healing because I don't have any more humanities. I use them all in order to upgrade the Chaos Covenant, which means I am completely out, so I can't rekindle the flame and I can't get any more Estus Flask for now, unless I go back to the Firelink Shrine, which of course I could, again, lazy. Gold Pine Resin to use with my Hand Axe, Homeward Bones, some different types of bolt, and then Havel's Ring in order to give my fast roll, and the Flame Stone Plate Ring. I am going to be touching some lava today, and even if I can just quickly roll through the fire, I'm still going to take some damage. Right, so last time things went, frankly, a little bit too smoothly, I think. So we're just going to see if we can make up for that. Someone else pointed out, Blue, why didn't you just use the shortcut after the Demon Fire Sage to go up to Quailana? Well, I forgot. <laughs> It has just been far, far too long since I've played this game, and it is just embarrassing because it is one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, um, <clears throat> ignore this. Definitely didn't die here. Don't know what you're talking about. Right, so we already unlocked the shortcut to Lost Isleth. We're not going to take it. I do want to go the old-fashioned way. So we're just going to run through here. I'm going to show you the shortcut up to Quailana. Quailana, fair lady? Quailana is not actually who I'm trying to think of because Quilana is the pyromancer does the fair lady have any oh my goodness way to start out an episode by just bla uh oh uh oh by just blatantly forgetting everything right let's bypass you bypass you don't die don't die don't die I should heal might as well I guess right just keep pushing up and Let's see what kind of damage my crossbow does. Okay, let's see. I don't actually remember which bolt. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Not the time, Blue, not the time. Tell you what, what about a soul arrow? Oh, I didn't even show. Oh, that's, that's just bad damage. Well, <laughs> this is gonna be an interesting episode, isn't it? Tell you what, you, come with me. We're gonna play a little bit of Ring Around the Dragon statue. This is going to end poorly, most likely with my death. But as some of you like to point out, I do like to make bad decisions in these games, so why interrupt that trend? Okay, come with me, come with me, and you'll see you're in deep with copyright infringement. Okay. Um, this is a very... <laughs> why? Why am I doing this? Why? For what? Oh, of course, they're now just getting tripped up on each other. All right, let's get you out of the way at the very least. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> but I still think there's one more to bypass. One more to bypass. I better be quick. It's just a soul item, isn't it? It's just a soul item. But we talked about it. Many of us had the same kind of mindset. Oh. Oh, I lived. I lived. Good RTSR setup. Hey, look. There's a centipede demon. You know what I could do? I could rest at that bonfire. But I'm kind of thinking that I already have these guys moving. I don't want to. But anyway, going back to what I was trying to talk about before I was so rudely interrupted by myself. Shiny-itis. I like that name. I'm going to now use that phrase. Shiny-itis. 
meaning the itis that afflicts you for anyone who must get every shiny they see. I'm so glad to see that I'm in good company. Oh, look at that. Flawless. And that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Soul of a Brave Warrior. Worth every second. <laughs> oh, wow. This is a great start. I think we're going to have some fun today. All right, let's see. So this is not the Daughters of Ash mod, of which I continue to confuse this. So we don't have any items, correct? No? Could just drop down here. And I don't have any. Great. Well, let's take the shortcut up just so you can see it. Just for the one or two of you that have not already seen this. Right. There we go. Quay Lang's Domain. I could rest there. That'll actually give me 10 Estus. So if you didn't know already, I don't think I kindled that one, but any bonfire that is currently watched over by a bonfire keeper, and I know I've mentioned this in this series, will automatically give you 10 Estus flasks by default. That's why Firelink Shrine does it, this one does it, the one in Anne Orlando by the Bronze Fire Keeper does it as well. But of course, if you kill the bonfire keeper, then it is no longer kindled, and I don't think you get 10 anymore. Well, no, it doesn't matter because you kill them and the fire goes out. <sighs> I really need to go watch my own videos. <laughs> well, it is time for the centipede demon. Uh, I imagine this is going to go poorly. The damage that I'm doing on these dragon statues should probably be an indication. Ooh, you know what? Uh, ooh, of the damage I'm going to do on the centipede demon, I'm hoping the gold pine resin kind of helps to offset it. Otherwise, I don't. I like the little Jake he was just doing. Otherwise, Soul Arrow and my crossbow probably not going to be of much use. This is going to be bad. I'm not very good at this centipede demon fight as is. But at least we have a nice straight run back. Well, let's rest up. Set our spawn point. And here we go. Ugh. I'm just not looking forward to it. I'm not necessarily going to focus on getting the cut. All you get is the orange charred ring early, which can actually be beneficial in the fight, as I'm sure you're already well aware. But you're going to get it anyway. I just need to make sure that I can make it to that one easy spot. You know, I don't need the gold pine resin just yet. Oh, would you look at that? He's actually already in the spot we just saw him at. And then he just does that magical leap. I'm not sure that he just landed in the right place. Maybe you can see this arena from up there, but I was trying to. Okay, here we go. Centipede Demon. Uh, hmm. Whoa, wait, what? I took no damage whatsoever. That was... That was strange. There's the damage. Okay. All right. That's uh, that's acceptable, though. I can deal with that. And some green Titanite shards, I believe. Yes, sir. Okay. <sighs> Probably a bit premature, because he's going to take a minute to get over here. I wonder if I can uh, snipe you a little bit. Probably not. Especially not if my aim is that bad. Whoa. Nope. Okay. Back up, back up, back up. We want him to get in here. Okay, swing and a miss. Okay, this is great. Can you get a little closer? <laughs> I mean, <clears throat> I'm not getting hit. Oh, now you're going to come in. That's what I wanted. That's what I was hoping for. And you just wasted it on me. Um, not super great damage. I would really, really like those slams. Well. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm going to heal up. Uh, my gold pine resin has already run out. Let's see. That was actually giving me a significant boost. Oh, 
Goodness gracious. Did I really just get that cut? And wait a minute. Wait a minute. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a thing? That he. Oh my goodness. Get out of the lava. Blue, 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 heal. Okay. Uh, hmm. I don't think this should be news to me. Not much damage. I don't know where I am. I don't know where his. <sighs> okay, jump, jump. No. Nice stomp, nice stomp. Oh, watch his other little appendage. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? Oh, wait, did it? No, it didn't grow back. I feel like I really need to deal with you. Okay, got him, got him. That's gonna make things a little easier. And there's the orange shard ring, beautiful. You know, I don't think I actually want to uh, attack that again. Okay, that's okay, that's all right. Good, 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 back up. Just go for the feet, heal up. What do you got, jump, big jump? Yeah, that is dangerous though. Nice hit, I don't know if that was a headshot. Kind of looked like it though, didn't it? No, 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 no. Um. Yeah. Okay. So every time you cut that off, oh no, no, no. Every time you cut that off, it becomes another mini, mini centipede. It's not even. Oh. No, 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 no. Uh, I almost want to. Twenty-six. No. Absolutely not, Blue. What were you thinking? That is terrible damage. Okay. Where am I? Where is he? Where are any of us in this thing called life? Back up, back up, back up. No, 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 no. Okay. Heal up. Move, 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 move. Time to go. Time to go. I don't know where he's aiming, but I like what he's doing there. Nice dagger. Actually, my R2... Oh, and actually, his tail is grown back, which I don't want to hit. Oh, big stomp, big stomp. No, 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 no. Heal up, heal up, heal up. That could have been it. Good roll, good roll. Don't use all my stamina. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Heal up. Come on. What do you got? Oh. oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> this, <laughs> that is a genuine reaction! Um. Uh, okay, um. Yeah, let's take a look. Guys, I'm I am so level one. Just just so we're all well aware. And I just uh one shot at the centipede demon. Oh, and I was out of Estes Flask. You know, have you noticed? I have. In my series, when I'm out of healing, that's when I kind of uh, pull the clutch moves out. No, is it just me? <laughs> wow, I am pretty stoked about that. I am extremely, extremely stoked. Okay, orange charred ring reduces lava damage. I don't think it actually increases your fire defense. No, in fact, my fire defense is gonna go down because I don't even think I showed it off. I have the Havel's ring and then the flame stone plate ring because I don't think I actually stopped to talk about what uh what rings i had i i got so enthralled i guess in the dragon statues wow so 224 so it looks like i'm going to lose 50 fire defense but i'm okay with that because i need to run through the lava oh that was good times you know what though i still have to be careful now that i think about it because i don't have any more estus i just need to make it to the next bonfire i do have my divine blessings i'd rather not use them if i don't have to and there shouldn't be any items out there because that's only in the daughters of ash mod what a great mod if you haven't checked it out if you haven't seen my video series uh go for it i will go ahead and put a link in the description below or in a pinned comment i had a lot of fun with it 30 some odd episodes i believe and just really re did everything in the game oh and there's our boy solaire there is our friend which means we have saved him from peril uh let's give him a give him a quick talk why? Why? After all this searching, 
I still cannot find it. Why? Oh. I mean, I don't, I don't know if this is really what he's looking for, but you know, uh, maybe, maybe you want this? Why? No? Okay. Then I guess I'll hang on to it. But we have saved him, and that was the goal. Right. So, uh, I need to test something because I don't remember if I can warp to this bonfire or not. So let's see. Daughter. Wait, there's the Daughter of Chaos. Am I crazy or did this not appear previously? I thought that it wasn't on my list. Did I have to really defeat the centipede demon for that to show up? That would be a little strange. But I am curious. Let's go back to Firelink Shrine. I want to see if I can warp back to this bonfire. Everything looks good. That way we get our 20 Estus Flask, which is going to come in handy. I'm going to have to keep topping off. And no. Daughter of Chaos is the closest I can get. Luckily, I have that shortcut. Perfect. Oh, by the way, many of you pointed out Angi won't talk to me because I don't have an egg parasite. I knew that. In fact, my other character that I haven't shown any footage of, and I'm sorry, hopefully I'll get around to it, he's infected with an egg parasite, so I can actually buy things from him. Otherwise, even if you have joined the Chaos Covenant, that's going to be that's gonna be no dice. I'm going to do a little bit of a shortcut here. Not really a shortcut, but really just avoiding all those dragon statues. Let's get back to that bonfire, and let's push forward. There's not a whole lot in Lost Isleth. I have no intention whatsoever of killing all the undead dragon butts. Sorry, it's just not going to happen. What I could do, though, and what I likely will do, is get all of the loot. I am a completionist, after all. shiny itis. So, tell you what, this is a bit of a run back. I will see you at the bonfire. Right, well, part of me actually thinks that the... Easiest part might be behind me. I'm not honestly sure. Lost Isolith, it's not terribly difficult. There are some tough enemies, and we do have to deal with the last Daughter of Chaos. We do have, of course, the last invasion with Night Kirk, although that shouldn't be too difficult. I will have to become human, though, before we take them on. And then, of course, there is the wonderful, always beloved Bed of Chaos boss fight. I wonder how that's going to go. If I one-shot that... I don't know. We should have some sort of running bet. So before you go ahead and skip ahead, place your bets in the comments. So let's do a thing. If you're watching this, put a comment down below whether or not you think I'm going to get it in one life. In other words, I don't die at all to the bed of chaos. And then go back and edit your comment after you've seen me go through the fight to see whether or not you were correct. You know, it just kills me that, wow, this is actually extraordinarily clear in the remaster version. Guys, this is the first time I am seeing the Lost Isolith area in the remastered version, even though I have something like 60 hours in the game, this is as far as I've gotten, honestly. But you can really make out all the stupid copy-paste dragon butts that really tone down on the haze. Hmm. Right, so, as you can see, I do have Oral Decoy equipped. I have never tested Oral Decoy or Alluring Skulls on the dragon butts. I can't imagine that it's going to work. But I'm going to try. I am definitely going to try. Also, they made the shinies a lot easier to see, too. Look at that. That is impressive. I will not be killing these. Just, just to be perfectly clear, I'm not going to attempt to kill a single one of the dragon butts. It's just not worth my time. Okay. I know that there's some loot over that way. I know there's some over that way. I do not believe there's any down there with those dragon butts. <sighs> Okay, here we go. I'm going to sprint towards that pillar, then maybe be lining over to the loot that's over that way, although I may go to the secret bonfire first. Oh, you know what? Let's... I don't think Oral Decoy has a very great range, but let's let's give it a go. Oh, my goodness gracious, I think Oral Decoy works on Dragon Butts. Let's get a little closer and give it a go. Oh my goodness, 100% it does. Haha! <laughs> that, 
that is news to me. That is pleasant news to me. Also, hello, health. Uh-oh. No, no. You just stay right there. Yes, I know. I know little dragon statue. That's incredible. They're not even aggroed to me because they were so focused on the oral decoy. <laughs> oh, I'm pleased. I am pleased. I feel like I'm, I'm rediscovering this game and actually working out some of the tech for myself instead of following online guides and, and everything. This is... This is fantastic. Okay, so the loot is actually much further down. Well, we can go up on the branches. We'll do this. We'll go up there and get what I believe is the twin humanities over there. That's going to be good for kindling as well as being human for that last night Kirk invasion. And then I can drop down and get that bonfire. Yep, there we go. Twin humanities. Perfect. And the loot is right there. Okay, let's let's drop down, take some damage. Backstep. There we go. Not too much damage. I, oh, come on. There you go. Beautiful. Wrong. Right. Perfect. Good. And we are gonna rest up here. I haven't killed anything, so I'm not too worried about respawning. And. I'm still not going to become hollow. There's a there's a chance that I'm going to die out in the lava. So I will, and I said become hollow. I'm not going to become human just yet. I'm going to wait to become human until after this. And I do apologize for the excessive noise. I know that this is, this is rough. I'll try to tone it down and balance it as best I can. go so we got divine blessing which is a beautiful thing and oh two divine blessings i was thinking it was red titanite slab isn't there a red titanite slab in here or is that the daughter of chaos mod oh no oh no i might have to do some exploring because i almost want to say that the red titanite slab is down here i wonder if it's over in that corner no I don't think there is any loot over there. I don't see any other shinies. I cannot believe how much of this game I have forgotten. Okay, tell you what. Let's continue on. If it is something that I'm missing, I can always go back and get it. But I am going to... No, nope, I'm just going to use regular humanity. I'm not going to kindle. Of course, I could have just saved that SS. It really doesn't matter. I'm sitting in a bonfire. Anyway, let's reverse hollowing. Gotta be careful not to die, but we can get that last Night Kirk invasion. I can't believe we're actually on our way to our first Lord Soul. This is, uh, this is going all right. This is going very well. Yep, still, still kind of looking for the loot. I don't see any. But I will keep scanning. Actually, from this perspective, I should be able to see if I've missed anything. I'm not... Not seeing any. Look, okay, how many dragon butts are there, actually? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, my goodness. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16... 17? Am I counting that correct? correctly? I mean, is there anyone who, who's actually counted those before? I'm counting 17 dragon butts. Far too many dragon butts. Well, we made it. We made it through the lava. I don't think I missed any loot, but again, I will go back if need be. So now let us slot our route here. I'm going to test out these bolts. So I do have both heavy bolts and lightning bolts. Right now, these are the heavy bolts, so let's give this a go. Nope. Nope, I just switched it. That's right. Okay, heavy bolt. 64, not terrible. How about a lightning bolt? The exact same. Right, might as well use my heavies. And then we'll just finish you. I'm not going to kill all of them. In fact, I'll probably just use the axe on this guy. Because I can just kind of stun lock you. And the R2 does considerable damage. 
That is not bad damage at all. Okay, watch the corner. Okay, whoa, careful, careful, careful. That's only three R2s. What about a jumping R2? Not, not worth it. Watch the stamina. Like I said, not gonna kill all of them, but I don't wanna get ganged up either. Ha <laughs> Right, good. I already know that <laughs> my soul arrow isn't really, really gonna cut it. Okay, watch out, watch out. Do a little bit of luring. Tell you what, if I can get both of you to breathe. Oh, okay, that did work out. It's a little bit precarious. There we are, perfect. You know, I got a comment on one of my older Everything Possible videos in Dark Souls 1 that is and the gentleman was saying that it is much better to lock on and I did have you know a, a good response to it I think but I'd like to you know kind of the the question of the week this week last time was about shiny itis now it's about lock on do you lock on in the Soulsborne games does it depend on the Soulsborne game for me in Dark Souls 1 it really doesn't make sense in a lot of cases to lock on because it doesn't have the omnidirectional rolling and i can kind of show you what i mean here let me thin the herd a little bit if i lock on if i want to roll i can roll towards back i can do left or i can do right if i want to go let's say to my diagonal right i actually have to be unlocked and i have to be facing that direction now in the other games that do have omnidirectional it's not as big of a deal but i find myself not locking on a whole lot in Dark Souls 1. So let's have that conversation down below. Here I am saying I'm not gonna kill them all and here I am <laughs> killing them all. But it's okay, actually three R2s is fine. I can I can handle that. But you know what? Let's deal with you with a few bolts. Oh, that is some slow reload, forgot about that. There we go, unlock. Nice fast attacks with the hand axe. I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. So we're going to have our first Chaos Eaters here coming up in just a second. Lots of soul items. I'm sitting on 66,000. That would already be a few levels here. And uh, thank you to Stone in the comments. I don't know if you saw him, but he did offer to teach me how to level. And for that, I am I am eternally grateful. How about Oral Decoy? It works. Beautiful thing. Wow, 100 for an R1. And finish. Actually, that oral decoy lasted a lot longer than I expected. And a red Titanite chunk right off the bat. Not bad, considering I have no soft humanity built up. And I don't have the Covetous Gold Serpent Ring on. Right, since all the enemies down below are cleared, let's go do this little side passage. Won't take but a moment. Go to oh, did I miss it? No, didn't quite miss it. All right. Uh oh. Uh oh. Soul of a hero, beautiful. That is ten thousand souls, I think. Twenty thousand for the soul of a great hero. Hero. Okay, new word to me. And let's see. Stamina. There we are. And how many attempts will it take me to get this? Let's try try the slow approach. Wow. <laughs> I, I'm not really sure what what magic I've pulled out to make this work as well as it has. But goodness gracious, what a smooth Demon Ruins Lost Isleth run so far. So far. I think I made the comment in the last video. I don't actually remember if I've been doing the Sigward Sigmire? Sigmire. The Sigmire quest, right? I can never get them straight. So I don't know if I'm going to actually have him to deal with here. My goodness, the copy paste is real. You know, in my head, I was remembering the little spider-looking things from the Daughters of Ash mod, and 
I was looking forward to fighting those because it's something different, but nope, just, just more copy-paste dragon statues. Okay, slow and steady. Get that stamina regain. And sadly, I really do kind of have to do it this way because there are a lot of them that could gang up. Alright, good. Let's do this one. Hopefully the other one doesn't sneak up behind me just yet. Nope, he's kind of stuck. So I will live, leave him alone. Whoa, see that? Lock on, and it almost got me killed. Eh, nope, 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 nope. But I could. That'll work. One more. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, which way are you trying to? Good. That works for me because I can get the two for. Oh, you're not dead. Oh, the Titanite Demon. I, I am going to have to fight him, aren't I? I really, 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 really would rather not. But such is life. We're going to have to do it and probably going to die. But I think I might... I might actually save that for after the Bed of Chaos. This is going too smoothly. I'd like to go and try that before. And speaking of before, because I'm human, I want to go take care of Knight Kirk. And then we'll go take care of the possible Siegmeyer quest. Otherwise, we still need to drop down and kill all those. Alright, there's the witch. Um, yes, that that actually works. But that can still be very, very dangerous. <laughs> that was a little close. Probably should have run in for the backstab. Right, so now we just have to use oh, the Twin Humanities. And I have all those dragon statues. Hopefully I can break their line of sight and just run past them. That's the plan. Hmm. I should have actually gone for the backstab there. I think with the oral decoy and the backstab, I probably would have been in good shape to interrupt her. Also, I just realized that I probably could have put the flames don't play ring on. I don't know that that would have saved me from Fire Tempest. But it would have been better than this ring here. So let's go back. Ooh, or do I want to actually do critical attack and go for a backstab? Yep, that's the plan. That is what we're going to try and do. It may work. It may not work. But what is bravery without a dash of recklessness? Once again, we're just going to try and beeline through here. Hopefully these guys will just get caught on branches and whatnot. If not, if they have a really, really long leash, this is going to be a problem. Especially once Nightkirk shows up. Yes, 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 I know. Alright, even the Chaos Eater, we're just going to juke right on by. And there's the juke. Aha! Right, good. I, have, I absolutely love their sound. And it looks like he actually might be stuck. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to immediately oral decoy. Oh, nope, nope, nope. I'm too afraid. I'm too afraid. Backing up, backing up, backing up. And there's Knight Kirk. Oh. There it is. There's the backstab. Massive damage. Not enough damage, though. Oh. Oh, bother. No, oh, no, no, no. Uh-oh. Right, and here comes the witch. Uh, okay, all right. I think we're okay. I think we're gonna have to be. Uh, please, 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 please. I need an opportunity to heal. I, I didn't. I didn't get that opportunity. You know. Whoa, careful. Don't forget to switch rings. That I that might actually be a blessing in disguise. Here's my plan. I don't have any more humanity, but there's going to be one soft humanity in my bloodstain. 
If I can make it back and pick that up, then that will be the humanity I use to become human and defeat Night Kirk. But I can go take on the witch one on one using, of course, the Hornet Ring, which almost took her out. Almost took her out. Once she's dead, I can get my soft humanity, go back here, become human, run back, kill Night Kirk, and we're all good. That's that's the plan. That's the plan. I didn't think that this particular area was going to be uh, my downfall. But now I, I learned something. Soft humanity obtained, and you know what? I think maybe the gold pine resin might give me the damage that I need to take her out pretty quick. Or I've just made a huge, huge error in judgment. Okay, excellent. Nice start. Wait till she comes up. And there we go. That worked out really nicely. Really, really nicely indeed. And you know what? We can kind of do the same with the Chaos Eater here. Uh, kind of. That is fantastic damage, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful damage. Not a mimic. Had to double check. Chaos Fire Whip. I really, another Red Titanite chunk. I'm impressed. I am impressed. Well, it's not bad of chaos time yet. I do need to take out Night Kirk. I am not going to show this run back because it's going to take a moment, but I'm going to go become, whoop, go become human. And let's take him out one last time. That way we can get his armor. I th thought it might be kind of fun to try sorceries. I did put on the Bellowing Dragon Crest Ring for a little bit boost. Um, not really, not really confident in this, but let's try it. 39 damage and doesn't even face him for a single solitary moment. Nope, 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 nope. Mm, wow, he is uh, not stunning easily at all. Not, I might have to go for a parry and repost, which is terrifying because he's not going to give me a second to heal. He's not. Um, you know what I could do? At least, at least to give myself a little bit of space. Let's see if we can bait an attack and then die. Perfect. Execution flawless. Well, one of the real problems I'm going to face is that unless I get a random soft humanity just by killing a certain number of enemies, I don't have any more to use on Night Kirk. So let's let's go down and deal with the possible Siegmeier encounter. If he's going to be here, not I can't actually remember. And no, no, and I think it's because I didn't go to. The Duke's Archives. That's all right. That's all right. We're just going to have to miss out on this quest because he would have been hanging out right here. And I am not able... Look at how clear this is, though. This actually looks great. It, it's letting me target it for, like, the briefest of moments. Let's try something here, though. 52. Is not a lot. I was hoping that they would actually move closer so then I could get a target because I'm not going to be able to manually aim with my crossbow. Although that's actually doing fine damage. Can I... I wonder how well I can free... Oh, actually, I can free aim that pretty well. Huh, that's not so bad. I don't have a whole lot of bolts. I did put on the Hawks Ring just to improve the range, and I think that's paying off in dividends. Right, we won't kill them entirely with the crossbow. We will go down, well, I'll just kind of throw some firebombs. Since I don't have to worry about Sigmire so much. Nope. Another chunk. Wow, I'm actually doing just fine with this free aim. 
Well, I don't really need the crossbow bolts for anything else. Might as well finish you off. Look at that. I'm a little impressed. And of course, we do have some poison down there. So let's switch to my purple moss clumps. Might as well, right? And I do have the one more chaos eater. Okay, we got chunk. More soul items. Okay, titanite shards. Yes, yes, I know I'm poisoned. You know, I think I'll try the lightning and see how that does. Uh, about the same. Oh, heavens, yep. Okay. Nope. Oh, I should have put on the rusted iron ring. What am I? Ah, oh, what was I aiming at? Oops. Okay. That's a shame because they're all going to respawn. So it turns out they don't actually respawn. I could have and would have sworn that they did. Well, all right then. I don't need the hawk ring on. Let's put on the rusted iron ring so I can traverse a little bit easier. There we go. And... Oh wow, that did really make a difference in my shot damage. That's okay. I can I can make this work. And finish quickly. There we are. Good. Excellent. Cast eaters are dead. This is almost like a blind run. I mean, it is it is that doggone close. And I can never remember exactly which way to go to get all the loot. That's all right. Luckily, it's not a huge area. That's definitely a dead end. Watch your health. This might go up to the other Chaos Eater. The one we just saw that's near the shiny... No. We're kind of directly opposite. Alright. Let's head back down into the fray. Or am I supposed to hop down here? Onto a branch. No. Alright, let's go back down. I was also hopeful that maybe I had a Firekeeper Soul, because as you know, when you consume a Firekeeper Soul, you do get five humanity for that. But alas, I do not. Any more that I get, I will just use for the humanity, because at this point, a plus four Estus Flask is always going to keep me completely topped off. I don't need to go any higher with my Estus, so it's really just worth it. Ah, there's the chest. It's really worth it just to get the extra humanity. Make sure that I don't die from poison. Ah, there's the slab. Okay, I feel better about the lava area. I'm sure most of you are tearing your hair off at that. And dead end. Good, good, good. Watch your health with the poison. Seriously, watch your health with the poison. I'm just being stingy. And this should be the staircase up. Last bit of loot. Good, good, good. Well, it's a bummer that we missed out on Siegmeier's quest. But I guess, I guess we'll live. Oh, you actually fell down? Works out for me. Another chunk. That's going to be excellent for upgrading some fire weapons. And then to get back up to the top, I could run all the way back. Although, you know, I do need to go farm for some humanity. So tell you what, I'm going to homeward back. I'm going to run to the depths, do a little bit of farming. Not going to show that. I'm going to just use my gold covetous serpent ring. It shouldn't take long. In fact, I can warp to that bonfire and I'll be back once I've gotten a few humanities and we'll take out Kirk and then finally better chaos. Right. So I have a few humanity to try. I am going to do a little bit of cheese strat action. As soon as I see him start to spawn, I'm going to put on some gold pine resin. I have alluring skulls, which hopefully will work a little bit better than oral decoy because it doesn't take as long to get off. And uh, yeah, we're just going to take care of Nike Kirk because, frankly, I'm super tired of this fight. Oh, he doesn't care. Oh, <laughs> you. Okay. Oh, big hit. Heal. And then roll, 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 roll. No time. Oh, no. Oh, alluring skulls. 
Why hast thou forsaken? All right, I'm just gonna have to uh, YOLO it. Okay. That'll at least give me time to heal. And move. I don't want to uh, attempt that. Oh, no. Stop, stop locking, stop locking. He is, uh, he's almost dead. And there it is. Just kidding. Oh, whoa, he's still not dead. Um, <laughs> well, finally, Nightkirk is defeated. I can go and collect my armor just outside of the fair lady's room. Oh, what a trip. <laughs> what a trip this has been. Well, the only thing left, other than the Titanite Demon, which I'll, I'll get to, probably. Unless unless I can convince you to forget about it, but it's time for the Bed of Chaos. And I don't frankly know what's going to be best ring-wise. I'm kind of thinking... Where's my Chlorinth the Ring? That's what I'm thinking. Uh, did I not get it? Have I not done Ash Lake? I didn't do Ash Lake because I was wait. Oh my gosh, I was waiting to get the Lord Vessel to go do Ash Lake. I don't know why you didn't remind me, all of you, who aren't me. Well, in that case, I guess the Ring of Steel Protection. I don't know if that's really going to do it. What I do want, though, because I don't need any of these, I do want my single solitary green blossom. Yeah, that's going to do it. No quit up methods, no firebomb strats, just me versus the Witch of Isolith. Do kind of like how you get to surf. Uh, all right, now's the time that your bets are going to come true. Let's see how we do. I'm going to guess not very well. Stick to the outside for the first orb, of course. And... Good, good. Look at the aura on this. That actually looks really great. Uh, that's bad, 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 bad. Heal up, heal up, heal up. Yeah, you are defending that. I'm just gonna have to time it. Let's bait. Good, go, go, go. And of course, just roll, 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 roll. Okay, orb number one. Of course, everyone knows that's a piece of cake compared to the next two steps. Time to run, run, run. Oh, right, right, right. You have to stay pretty doggone close for a while. Oh, wow. Really close. Okay, get to the outside. I would say that's half the battle, but that would be an absolute lie. Oh, you're not even going to... That's right. I have to actually go on the inside here. Can I bait the double sweep? One. Oh! Oh, that dagger goes far. A lot further than I imagined. I... Uh, okay. Uh, we gotta bait the sweep, though. We have to bait the sweep. And then go. Perfect. Well, for those of you who didn't think I would get it in one try, congratulations. Right, this time. With feeling. We're just gonna, you know what, we're gonna... What What are we gonna do, Blue? Go ahead, finish your sentence. So it looks like I will have to bait that attack. So what do we got going on? Really, diagonal. Okay.
The swipe didn't kill me, to be fair. Okay, okay. Solid roll, solid roll. Just gotta go, 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 go. Ah, come on. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay, two orbs down, two orbs down. The trick was baiting both swipes. Aha. Luckily, if I die here, typically the run for the center is fairly straightforward. Because I'm probably not making out of this alcove alive. Okay, I did. At least so far. And. Okay. Good. Drop the floor. Drop the floor. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I gotta just beat the fire though. I have to beat the fire. Come on. Oh, it's coming. Oh, it's coming. <gasps> yes. Yes. Wow. Okay. Victory achieved. Got the Lord Soul. Oh, it's about time. <laughs> that felt good. That felt good. That last run actually felt well executed. Let's go back to Firelink Shrine and, uh, uh, let's pretend I killed that Titanite demon. Maybe I'll go back for it later, but uh, I need a break. One hundred and seventy thousand. I should probably find a way to spend this. Maybe I'll pay my good friend Donal of Xena a little visit. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to do it for this episode of Blue's base level Soulsborne challenge. First Lord Soul acquired. Lost Isolate down. I think next maybe we will take on, I'm thinking, Tomb of the Giants. Go take out Grave Lord Nito. But if you have anything you want to add, put it down in the comments below. Let's have a discussion. But thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. That was a lame ending. There you go.